<laughs> You're playing my game now. Great shot! <laughs> oh, I'm back in it now! Find out for yourself! Three performances only. Washington's birthday weekend. Saturday at Madison Square Garden, Sunday at Meadowlands Arena, and Monday at the National... <laughs> Twiggy Sanders, the clown prince of the Harlem Globetrotters, back out there for these magicians of basketball. We're in West Berlin at the Deutschlandhalle on ABC's Wide World of Sports. I'm Al Troutwig, looking back over the records here at ABC. I see that in 1973, when we began our annual association with the Globetrotters, Jim McKay said, America is hot dogs, apple pie and the Harlem Globetrotters. And in following those thoughts that Jim had then, I must say that they are hot dogs, apple pie, and also some Wiener schnitzel here tonight. The Generals need some baskets. The Harlem Globetrotters still with their big lead. Reggie handling it like a piece of fruit. And he'll fly to get back on defense. Before the shot, with a block, now, on the side. I don't want to lose sight of the fact that one of the generals who's had a fabulous game is number four for them, Clyde Sinclair. But the Globetrotters pay no mind. They just play their own game. Osborne Lockhart. General Hooks has been with the generals a number of years now, went in like a truck. Now Twiggy will quarterback another. Globe try to move. Clyde Austin, very much a fun player to watch. And I think those generals want to get serious in the second half. get serious too after losing more than 9,000 games in a row but Twiggy Sanders will have none of that serious stuff Steve Schmidt no one's guarding Twiggy yes a dirty job but Twiggy's ready to do it Strasser used to be a busy Berlin street. Now it is virtually a dead end. It is where you can cross into the east at Checkpoint Charlie, site of many a military standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union in years past. By World War II agreement, it is manned by the United States, French, and British military. Western powers, remember, still recognize East Berlin as the Soviet sector of the city, not East Germany. All you need is a valid passport, and going through the wall is possible in this direction. This isn't the way things felt to Sandra Hodge growing up in Clinton, Mississippi. There's something about this wall. You see a mountain, you want to climb it. You see the wall, and curiosity almost demands you try to get to the other side. Anticipation makes you think there's another world on the other side. But more looks the same about East Berlin than looks different. Lots of traffic. People dressed nicely. There were skyscrapers to see. But there is that one nagging difference. Ah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Put your finger while you up there, partner. Yeah, you put a finger on there, Rob, Bobo. Yeah. 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 Right. Basketball, right? Yeah. yeah. You play basketball? Yeah. Okay, you play basketball? You play basketball? No. Oh, you play soccer? Huh? You play basketball? Yeah, you swim. What you swim? Nah. No. Soccer? Soccer. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, he played basketball, man. Give him a wristband, Billy Ray, man. Give him a wristband. Look at him. There you go. That's a gift from us. For you. All right. Okay? Yeah, okay. There you go. All right, man. Yeah, way to go, Bobo. Yeah. All right. There was time to think and lots to think about. From the smiles and the carnivals of the middle of East Berlin, returning to the realities of the wall. Close inspections of the bus with mirrors and underneath in the luggage compartment. Was there anyone there? The border guards needed to know. Interestingly, the tour guide that the government sent us to take us through East Berlin, when asked what the East Berliners thought about the wall, said, it's something the West Berliners are concerned about. They're surrounded by it. We're free to the north, east, and south. Why would people want to live inside the walls of West Berlin? It's difficult to say, but there was a mass exodus of people from this city after the wall was built in 1961. It took some extreme exemptions from the West German government, including tax advantages and military exemptions, to give these people the incentive to stay. And now it's a city of two million and very much what you'd call a happening place. But this was much closer. <laughs> hey, Twiggy! Down here! Okay. Are you still All right, stop! And here they come again, the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah, Ivan Rock! Yes, sir, Ivan Rock! Well, it took the Globetrotters a while, but they were patient, and finally, it paid off. Love try to seem a little bit more deliberate now that the generals have gotten back on the board. Oh, wait a minute, a vicious foul by Gerald Hooks. Translated, that means Twiggy's hurt. What's that do? I'm hungry. I want some collard greens. I thought you was hurt. Er hat Hunger. Whoa! But I think more that they are the link. I want some steak tartare. Whoa! Well done. Seine Knie und seine Hüfte sind nicht mehr das, was es gewesen ist. You 
bust my ball. Hey, hey. You bust my ball. Listen you bust me. my ball. I didn't bust your ball. You bust my ball. The ball is kaput. Huh? The ball is kaput. Yeah, kaput. You bust my ball. You bust your ball, boy. You bust your ball. Well, we'll try to find a ball that isn't kaput and get back to the Globetrotters in Berlin. If you find Chancellor Bismarck, he put the German Empire together. Yeah, he got his buddy Anders with it. It looked like he could have been an early Globetrotter. Man, the uniform sure changed. Yeah. Hey, Ozzy, I might have peace, but the pressure's on you. You only one lot away from being the pig. I need this one, don't I? Yes, you do. All right. Oh, I'm going to hit it in this shot, Osborne. Hey! Ah! <laughs> you could have been! Oh, game anyway! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Osborne Lockhart says, Horace is my game. Well, that will have to be determined between him and Clyde Austin some other time in some other little corner of this world. Now, just a few seconds to go. The general's Clyde Sinclair gets an easy basket, but the Globetrotters never give it away easy. Finally, Dedrick Refugee lets it drop through. We'll see, even though with a big lead, whether the Globetrotters can get one more hoop and say good day to this crowd in Berlin. They're running out of time. Osborne Lockhart. Twiggy is there. Everybody's touching it. And finally, Skywalker Wallace ends this game with a successful Globetrotter basket. And they'll say goodbye to West Berlin with yet another victory. And those poor generals, they've waited 17 years to beat the Trotters. And they'll have to wait to another night in another town. Not even Nancy Lieberman could help them this time. I can hear red clots now. We'll get them tomorrow night. In 1927, Abe Saperstein may have stolen a recruiting line and said, join the Globetrotters and see the world. And that they have. In all, it's been 101 countries, including New York City. They'll tell you that what you see of this world is not always pretty, but to them, that never means the trip hasn't been worth it. And this trip is worth it to them. Passports in hand, they'll continue through Europe. It takes something special to last 60 years in sports and in show business, but time is what has given the Harlem Globetrotters their most prized place in the hearts of kids everywhere, of all ages. That is tradition. The Globetrotters are one of those things you expect to see every year and want to see every year. They are Thanksgiving, a game at the ballpark, a visit to Grandma. They are indelibly America. If they were suddenly gone, we'd miss them. And that's why they're still here and soon coming to play near you. And as they go along, there'll be more memories created to go along with the ones we have now, of visits with the Pope, of a revolution stopping in Peru just for them, of the Berlin Wall. They're still on the road, all because the Globetrotters know that 